Tree limbs on Kane Hoy Road are the concern for one low country resident who's been driving through the same area for more than 25 years. I'm afraid it might fall. That's what he told our Alicia Wimberly when talking about what drives him crazy. Alicia, but tell us a little bit more about those tree limbs on Kane Hoy Road and what officials are also saying. Yeah, ladies, good morning to you again. Well, I got the chance to talk to Reese Flint Jr. and he warns that these enormous tree branches could be a safety hazard. Flint says as soon as you turn onto Kane Hoy Road from Clements Ferry Road, the tree limbs are so low it's dangerous. Flint says trucks sideswipe it all the time and there have been a couple of close calls of the tree falling or a car swerving. Tractor trailers come by it's a possibility of clipping that and and maybe that might be the straw that broke the camel's back for that tree to come down in the road and it's a big enough tree that it's going to seriously injure someone. Now Flint suggests that if the tree is older or historic like this one, an arborist can come in, evaluate that tree and take off the large branch that's hanging over the road. Flint also brought up the point that during Hurricane Hugo, some main roads were blocked by trees, so much so that he remembers cutting through trees himself just so emergency services could get through neighborhoods. Flint says since Charleston is a known area for hurricanes, why not just taper the trees away from the road so there's no possibility they'll fall and injure a driver? say a tree is 100 foot tall and it's 50 foot from the road, well then that tree needs to be topped at 50 foot. Uh, that way it can't possibly come in the road and you could taper it to the distance from the road and that, would, that should solve a lot of your problems or at least prevent some of it. Uh, I reached out to the Kane Hoy Fire Department and I got a response from Deputy Chief Steve Goodwin, who says they'd come out to see if the department could cut down the tree branch themselves. We've also reached out to officials at SCDOT and I told I was told the issue has been forwarded to its evaluation team. Kelly Moore with SCDOT encourages anyone who has a state road concern to submit a work order request through the link we have on this web story. But in the meantime, if you have a road that's driving you crazy, you can head to this web story at life and submit your concern. Ladies, thank you. Back to you.